G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan. This is Tanya. Hi. Yeah, we're getting into another episode of Friends today. This one is episode 11, season number nine, the one where Rachel goes back to work. Looking forward to it. Let's do this. Let's rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you do enjoy today's episode once again. And if you do, drop a big thumbs up on the video, subscribe down below. And if you want to go support us even more, head over to Patreon. All the links will be down right down in the description down below. Go check them out, ladies and gentlemen. For a couple of dollars a month, you get content galore. Let's do this. Let's rock and roll. Let's get it. Real loss. I'm making you a nice big breakfast so you can keep up your strength for tonight. You're going to get me good and pregnant. I've got nowhere to go this morning. I'm unemployed. I just lost my erection. <laughs> what the what hell? What am I supposed to do with myself? You can be whatever you want to be now. A it's painter. Exciting. I can help you with this. Okay, we, we can make a list of your qualifications and categorize jobs by industry. There could be folders and files. Hey, this is where your hyper-organized pain-in-the-ass stuff pays off. I know! <laughs> My erection is back! Enjoy, can I have a sip of your coffee and a bite of your muffin? Thank you. Phoebs, have you ever been bitten by a hungry Italian? It's just I'm a little short on cash. I could loan you some money. I learned never to borrow money from friends. That's why Richard Dreyfus and I don't speak anymore. <laughs> Want to be an extra on my show? You could do that? Oh my God, I'm going to be on TV. Okay, now, I got to tell you. Oh, Rachel and I bring Emma to Ralph Lauren today. Don't she look cute? She sure does. <laughs> why, why does she have a pink bow taped to her head? Because if one more person says, what a cute little boy, I'm going to whip him with a car <laughs> antenna. <laughs> She's going to be hotter than, uh, than peasant blouses and A-line skirts. Can I get a blue bow? <laughs> yeah. I have looked through a bunch of oh, my God. What the messages. hell? How long was I in there? <laughs> Let's start with the A's. Advertising, that's a great idea. Well, don't you want to look through the rest? <laughs> Advertising makes perfect sense. You call eight hours alone with my label maker wasted time? <laughs> oh, now I'll get to use my shredder. Cheese. It's milk that you chew. <laughs> Crackers. Because your cheese needs a buddy. Because who can get a watermelon in your mouth? Okay. Oh, because your family's feet deserve the best. Honey, leave it to the pros. <laughs> I grew up with this guy who was a vice president at, at a big agency. The phone, bringing you closer to people who have phones. <laughs> Marriage, it's not for everybody. <laughs> Almost everybody knew that she was a girl. Do you punch that one guy who got it wrong word spread? Yeah. That would do the trick. That would do the trick. the person who's taken over your job your baby's so cute why would you put a pink bow on a boy <laughs> why would a boy look at me i'm a nurse <laughs> yes you are i think it might be time for my sponge bath so you excited about your scene yeah but i'm a little shaky and nervous you'll be fine they'll probably just make you stand in the back okay you're gonna walk over to the operating table you're gonna stop on that blue mark don't walk too fast but don't dawdle <laughs> Now, what? Action! Cut, cut. I'm just a little nervous. Yeah, well, don't be. Okay, that helps. <laughs> Action! Cut. Usually takes me three takes, too. <laughs> All right, eight. <laughs> even, the, even the guy getting operated on jumped up. About advertising. No, no, but let me Sweet life of Zach and Goody. Bagels and donuts. Round food for every mood. <laughs> Monica warned me you might do that. <laughs> really? That's great. It's an unpaid internship. <laughs> <laughs> That's Funny, not so you, great. You unpaid, it sounded like you said unpaid. And it's not like you have a family to support. I don't think Monica's going to want to postpone it. Now, if we're supposed to have sex tonight. <laughs> She's probably at home naked right now. I tend to keep talking until somebody stops me. Yeah. 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 Uh, I can just picture on the bed right now. Stop! Okay. <laughs> what do you mean you're taking over my job? While you were on your baby vacation, I was doing your job. Things sucking what on my nipples until they are raw. What did 
What a dick. I know someone wrote that line, but what a dickhead to say something like that while you're on your baby vacation. But you know, there's people out there like that that dickhead. actually think like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Clearly, you've never been to Sandals Paradise Island. <laughs> but hey, don't get too comfortable there because I'm back in two weeks. I can't say I care too much for that smell you've brought in with you. Uh, we have a code brown situation. <laughs> Please take care of it for me. But you're going to have to do one sometime. <laughs> so I go have a baby, and they send some guy in to do my job? I was transferred here from another department. Oh, yeah. And what department was that? The uh, jerk department? Well, did they mention that I'm rubber and you're glue? <laughs> Gavin, Ralph loved your ideas. Hi. I see you met Gavin. Gavin to the rescue. Super Gavin. <laughs> Well, when I come back, uh, where do you plan on flying off to? Mm. Well, that's up to Mr. Zellner. I'm sure he'll make the right decision. Oh, super ass-kissing power. <laughs> Incidentally, when, uh, when are you coming back? Uh, today. You said two weeks. See, for a superhero, not so much with the listening. <laughs> he can be a little rough around the edges, so I'm going to replace a word he used a lot with the word puppy. <laughs> Together, I am gonna fire her mother puppy ass. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I'm just not an actor. You're nurse with Trey. Joey. No, no, nurse with Trey doesn't know Joey. People die. Who dies? Man with eye patch. <laughs> you get in there and you do your job. Yes, doctor. Okay. Hang in there, man with eye patch. Your tray is coming. Action. Yeah! Rest of the scene. <laughs> okay, from the top, people. They told me that if I didn't come back today, they were gonna fire me. That's illegal. Down here so fast, they were. All right, all right, calm down, Norma Ray. <laughs> Can you please just take care of her for today? Give me your breasts and we'll be on our way. <laughs> Come on, I don't I don't know what else to do. We'll have fun, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> Russ, uh. you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> He's an idiot. Whatever I decide to do, I'm going to be starting a new career from scratch. Maybe now's not the right time. Nanny. He can Sorry. be the nanny. So you have to tell Monica you don't want to have a baby right now? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, it's baby time. Pants off, Bing. Good <laughs> <laughs> see you there, Geller. Uh, and I was really hoping that maybe, you know, I could hang out. We're gonna have sex. I don't feel like having sex. <laughs> we, we can watch a movie or something. We're having sex whether you're here or not. Pants off, Bing. <laughs> <laughs> Pants off, Bing. Now that I'm back, why don't you just fill me in on what you've been up to? Changed your screensaver from that picture of NSYNC. They were popular when I left. <laughs> But mostly I've just been working on this big presentation for tomorrow. I see what you're doing here, all right? Listen, this is my job, buddy. How do you fix this? Hey, you've been here five years. You figure it out. Fine, I will. <laughs> that fixed it. All right, fill me in. Hey, hey. You have a blue tie that would go with this. Emma Spinelli. Hi. Yeah, but you have to give it back if I get a job. By that time in the future, ties will be obsolete and we'll all be wearing silver jumpsuits. <laughs> I'm a little weak in the knees. <laughs> Here's an idea. You walk into a room, take a quick scan. I kind of have this feeling that we, we may have made a baby last night. God, I have to tell you something. You're not pregnant. Well, that thing that I have to do to make a baby, I faked it. What? You faked it? You know what? <laughs> I don't need a tie. I mean, it's, 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 it's better open collar, <laughs> you know? It's more casual. I'm more casual. A nurse, and today I'm a waitress at a cafe because I gave a very memorable performance as the nurse. <laughs> and now suddenly I'm the waitress. That's going to confuse my fans. But you moonlight as a waitress. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> because I'm a single mother supporting my two children. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Wouldn't I come over to say hi to him? See, uh, you and Drake are having a fight. He slept with you and then never called him. And I just wanted a new daddy for Davy and Becky. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, okay, from the top. I'm surprised you agreed to have lunch with me. I'm surprised too, but yet here I am. <laughs> Him because he slept with me and never called me back. Me too. Me too. <laughs> oh, calm down. She means on the show. We need some new extras around here. <laughs> You're here already? Emma and I came in a little early to do research on the presentation. How do you fix the chair? Oh, accept that. <laughs> Good, because it's in 10 minutes. I have the baby, and Ross is not going to pick her up for another hour. Well, then Gavin can give the presentation, okay? We have to do it now. Ralph needs to leave early today. He's going helicopter shopping. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. You win. No one will ever remember that I worked here. Super Gavin will just fly right alongside of him. You can do the presentation. I'll watch her. Because you worked really hard, and it's your job, and you're a little crazy. <laughs> Crying women make me very uncomfortable. You're not gonna like what's coming. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry, I'm great with children. Gavin Mitchell, pleased to meet you. Yeah, no, no going away. Friend, just let me talk to her. Okay, okay, but this is her last chance. Bring your hat, cover up the bald. <laughs> <laughs> You don't hit drag, you just wait on the tables. I'm an actor, I have a process. You're a masseuse, you have a table with a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good in the scene that I'm stealing focus from you. Because I just raised the bar. Come join me up here. <laughs> yeah, you can fire her, but I would call security. She won't go easy. <laughs> you couldn't have faked it. Well, yes, you can. You just make the faces and the noises. <laughs> The one thing that's ours. <laughs> Is Why it? Why would you fake it when we're trying to have a baby? Maybe. Well, that's actually. Look, I'm starting a whole new career now, and I, I'm not saying I don't want to have a baby. I'm just saying maybe we could wait a little while. Really? You want to wait a year? Pants, like shorts, but longer. <laughs> It'll probably be more than a year. <laughs> I really want to have a baby. Well, yeah, me too. Look, I'll, I'll just get my old job back. Not statistical analysis and data reconfiguration. I quit and you learn what I do? I think once the baby comes, we'll forget about all those reasons. Always going to be scary when we have a baby. The apartment's going to be a mess. I won't have time to clean it. What if the baby gets into the ribbon drawer? It messes up all the ribbons. Where will all the ribbons go? The bean! Should we go make a baby right now before you change your mind? Yes, please! <laughs> and I promise I will not fake it this time. Well, I wish I could say the same. I'm a little shook up. Okay. I know you botched that operation on purpose. I can't prove it yet, but when I do... Can the camera be, be any closer? I don't care if you are my brother. Could it be any brother. closer? <laughs> well, there you go. What do you think? What do you think of that episode? <laughs> oh my god, that last scene. Thoughts? Before, before <laughs> I was going to say something, and now I'm all I can say is, who is crazy? Um, yeah, she definitely <laughs> is. That's that was. Sure. I was going to say that what Monica said is absolutely true. What she says about, see, I know a lot of people that want to have babies or they've been with they've been married for a while or they've been with, been with their partner for like 15 16 years and when when you talk to them they're, they're always like no i don't think like 10 years ago their excuse was no we still we, we only we've only been dating for six years we have to wait a little bit more then their excuse was no we don't have a good car we need a bigger car then it was no we're renting we want to have a house of our own before having children then it was oh now that we have a house of our own we don't have money to for the for the child we have to save a little bit and, and it's always excuses 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 mm. and these people are close to 40 now mm. 35 40 and it's like and you still talk to them and they're like yeah i would like to but uh and, and it's never the right time for them and mm. that that's what i tell them all the time 
if you are waiting for the right time, you're never going to have the right time because lot, lot you are never constantly like your life is never perfect. Yeah, you're not correct. going to be at a point in your life where you have everything. You have a good job that you enjoy that is well paid. You have a house. You have a car. You have no debts. You have. You're never going to have that moment in your life. Yeah. There's always going to be something, always. And the, the the best thing to do is just do it now. If you really want to do it, just do it. And then once you have the baby, you won't care about all those things. You will adapt to provide your baby to with everything that he needs. Yep. And and that's it. And that's how it is. So what Monica said, it's absolutely true because that happened to us. And it's happened to a lot of people. And it's what happens to a lot of people now. Why why do people have kids when they are very like older than before? Because people, if, our parents had children when they were twenty in their twenties, mm. and it was normal. If you had your children when you were older than twenty five, it's when people would look at you and say, "Wow, really? You're old to have children." Now people have children when they're forty, and it's absolutely I, I normal. I think the, one of the key factors now is that people are scared. Or they a don't, lot or, of people are scared. No, I think it's more, everything is very expensive. No, but, but this is what I just said. Every, everyone is scared yeah. and everything factors into it. They're scared money-wise. They're scared of future, what the future holds. They're scared of the complications. If anything happens, they're scared of jobs. They're scared of housing. They're scared of everything. And that's what is so evident to this very day right now. Whereas back in the 30, 40 years ago, even 50 years ago, there was less worries, even though there was more hunger in the world. Well, some people can say there's hungers, a lot more hunger now because there's a lot more people, mm. if, that, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot more people hungry now than there was back in the day because there's a lot more, more people, people now. on yeah. the planet. Yeah, But um, there was less worries back in the day. Yeah, right. There was less worries and people just had kids because the only thing they worried about was was money yeah mm -hmm. and i feel like now more than ever it's people are so scared to jump into the deep end that sometimes they don't even test the waters at all and this and the ship just sails by them and I, think I feel like now it's more than ever we're seeing less and less young people have kids. But how many people do you know that, are, of excuses. that, that are younger than 30 that have their own house yeah. now? Not many. And when, I, when my mom and dad were young, they got their first house when they were 18. Mm. And that now was that, normal. That's what, that's what I told you, though. A lot of the but older generation now are talking about, oh, when I was, you know, it's a different No, talk. no, it is. My mom and dad got their house when they were in the 18. My, my mom was 18 50, and my dad was 22. 50 cents and a bottle cap. <laughs> and now you don't know a lot of people younger than 30, 35 that have their own house. I'm not talking about renting. I'm talking about having their own house. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult because houses are so expensive right now. And not just that, everything in general. And everything, everything is expensive, but houses are very expensive. And in America too, you got to realize uh, having a kid is expensive too because they don't have free medicine. Yeah, that's true. So, so no, when you that, have a kid, exactly. it's, <laughs> on top of that, some bills can be anywhere between twenty, thirty thousand, and up. There you go. So, so that 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 makes it worse. Mm. Yeah. Uh, there's your answer. I mean, no wonder why. But yeah, what Monica said made, made a lot of sense, and it's absolutely true. You're never going to find the right time if you do it, you know? Yeah, exactly. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Let us know in the comment section down below if you did. And don't forget to drop a big thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy it. If you want to go watch this in full, head over to Patreon. All the links will be down in the description down below. Take it easy, guys. Peace out, and we'll speak to you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off